and I'm not in In January this year, learners returned to the classroom different two years after schools were closed because of COVID-19. A kind of class that was emotionally, emotionally mixed up. These children had a lot of trauma during the lockdown. Government set a timetable that was hoped would enable to catch up on lost time. However, in September, Mubende District reported an Ebola outbreak with some learners catching the disease. By 4th November 2022, at least 23 Ebola cases had been registered in five schools in Kampala, Wakiso and Mubende districts. Of these, eight children have died while 11 others have recovered. Now just shy of a month to complete the third term, the learners will be required to sit the last examinations of the year, even if some had just done their mid-term exams. This because the Ministry of Education decided that schools should have to close by 25th November. Some schools or some teachers have been in the process of revising with the children the mid-term assessment. Now, before even the revision is concluded, now we have end of term coming very soon. Now, that means that uh, at institutional level, there is a need to refocus. School administrators and the teachers are also working around the clock to have the students finish the term syllabus. Phil Badbaguma, the General Secretary of the Uganda Teachers Union, UNATU, says the directive leaves unanswered questions. If you close schools and you leave markets, you leave um, churches, you leave transport, the shopping malls, this is where the children will be. We, we, we need to start thinking of better ways of controlling epidemics and pandemics, pandemics without necessarily causing unanswered questions. Professor Noelin Nakasuja believes it's best that the learners return home to be kept safe and to also come fears of an impending indefinite stay at home. Two weeks drop for me, I think, um, creates more safety for the child as well as the parent in knowing how, you know, guarded their child uh, may be in containment of this. Because when they're in school, there's also always lots of stories that are um, going around, uh, which may actually make them more anxious about the whole situation. Philbert Baguma says the closure of schools for almost two years and this term's early conclusion will have an effect on the learners. We shall have a series of learners who continuously leave some uncovered work in every class. And the moment they reach the candidate class, then they will have no way of meeting that content. It's not known yet when the first term of 2023 will start. Rita Kanyamujuni, NTV Tonight.